All right, so in this problem, we are going to factor this polynomial. Now, this polynomial has a coefficient of 3, and when you have a coefficient that does not equal 1, we solve it in a different way. We are going to solve by factoring. Now, we're going to begin by finding two numbers that multiply. So we have a times b, so we're going to take this is a and this is b. So a times b, which is 3 times negative 3, gives us negative 9. Now, these two numbers, a and b, have to also add to this middle number over here, 8. All right, so we need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 9 and add to positive 8. So let's start by looking at the multiples of 9. We have 3 and negative 3, and when we add them, we get 0. So this is not correct because we need to find a number that adds to 8. And if we have a 1 and negative 9, we get negative, we get a negative 8, and we want a positive 8. So we can switch the negatives, and we have a negative 1 and a positive 9, which will give us a positive 8 when we add them together. And so therefore, these two numbers will be the numbers that we break up this middle term over here in our um, polynomial. So it's going to look like this. We're going to have 3 x squared minus x plus 9x minus 3. Now if you simplify these two middle terms here, you will, get, you will go back to this positive 8x, which should be another good signifier that you are on the, on the right track. Now we are going to break this up. We're going to group these two terms, and we're going to take out the common factor. So in the first two terms, 3x squared minus x, we can take out an x, and we are left with 3x minus 1. And in our second two terms, we can take out a positive 3, and so we are left with 3x minus 1 again. Now, as you can tell, these two terms in that stayed in the parentheses are the same, and we are going to factor those out also as a common factor. And what we're left with is x plus 3. Now this is how we factor. This will be the um, factored version of the polynomial. And if you take a look at your answers, um, option D represents this answer the best.